Hey folks, it's Eric here, the Whatever Guy, because it really is whatever for me. Do you folks want to know about these inconsistencies with the Alabama medical marijuana licensing going forward? You guys stick around, man, and we'll talk about that. As you guys know, my name's Eric. I am the Whatever Guy, and I usually shoot videos a couple days a week, basically keeping you guys updated in the world Delta 8, Delta 9, Delta 10, hemp cannabis, just what's going on around, man. And today, uh, we're going to talk about the Alabama licenses. Uh, for you guys that don't know, Alabama is coming forward with uh, Alabama medical marijuana uh, and we were one of the companies that was applying for one of those licenses. Now, there were nine different uh, stages of licenses. I believe there were 21 licenses that were awarded on Monday out of 90 applicants that applied for the job. Now, there were some things that were supposed to go on uh, in this whole process. And one of those, a couple of those things were uh, that the licenses will not be awarded to uh, the same company twice. So the same company couldn't apply for a vertical license. For those of you who aren't aware, there was a couple different kinds of licenses. You had vertical processing, uh, growing, manufacturing, security, delivery, and stuff like that. Now, we were going for a manufacturing license, but for those folks that were out there that were going for different stages of those licenses, those licenses could not be awarded to the same company twice. And so, and those companies had to be, you know, had some rules as far as like how long they had been, been doing business in Alabama, uh, having lived in Alabama for a while. There was some, there was a lot of rules that, that were involved in that. And it was basically designed to give Alabama a leg up as far as this medical marijuana licenses would go. They wanted Alabama businesses to be the ones that that reap the benefits from this. And at the end of the licensing, of the, the awarded licenses that happened Monday, it, it, I, I'm not gonna lie to you about it, it was down. It was probably one of the worst days that I've had since I've been in this industry. Um, as far as being down, because I, I just felt like it wasn't a very uh, a fair process. And now we fall forward and find out that it wasn't a fair process. Now, this article that we're fixing to flip over to uh, says there's inconsistencies and there's a little bit of going on in, in, in the article. We'll talk about that. But having said that, this is what really happened. What really happened was there was one company uh, that got three different licenses uh, and their their post office box or their address all went back to a place in Netherlands. Now, I'm not even sure how a place in the Netherlands that's not even in the state of Alabama, that's not even in the United States, that's out of that's even out of the country, was able to get three licenses. But including that, there was a bunch of other inconsistencies. Uh, let me just say that the people that were actually sitting on the AMCC board, the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission board, uh, that were helping set these rules and, and, and navigating all this, none of those people want a license. None of those people that were on a board want a license. Patrick Lindsay, Stacey Hamilton, uh, Antoine Mordecai, none, none of those guys want a license. And, and, and here's the other thing, too. You would think that Antoine Mordecai would have a leg up with being with the Black Caucus. They didn't get a license. Nobody even knows half the people of, uh, that got these licenses. And so we fall forward uh, a couple of days later. We find out we're back in the game uh, simply because there are inconsistencies uh, with the licensing and the awarding. So all those people, those 21 people that got those licenses, Throw it out the window, bro, because we're back in the game now. Every, everybody's got an opportunity to get a license. And, and hopefully, you know, I'm not saying that, that the uh, licensing has to be fair for Boral Hemp, uh, you know, in, unless Boral Hemp gets a license. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying that nobody that sat on a board of the AMCC got a license. Like nobody in Alabama, like some of these companies out there, guys, like I do this on a daily basis. And a lot of these companies out there, I've never even heard of before. I, I never even heard of them. Like, I don't even know who they are. And I find out that after digging that some of these companies that were awarded these licenses, not supposed to be awarded two licenses to the same company, where a lot of those were tied to Verano. Now, we know Verano got one of those vertical licenses, uh, but those other companies down there, the manufacturing and stuff, they were also tied to Verano also. So I'm not sure exactly how this is going to move out going forward. But what I am going to do is slip over to a uh, an article over at Marijuana Mullet. We're going to take a look at it and let you guys see what's going on. It says... Uh, this is, uh, it says, Alabama officials delay medical marijuana business licensing over inconsistencies in application scoring. Uh, inconsistencies, I'm not even sure, guys, but but I just told you guys, like, we, I don't know about the inconsistencies part. And, and this statement, the very first statement that is made, really, really sounds crazy. It says, I know we're all concerned about it, but it would have been just a, ca a catastrophe if the applicants went through their numbers and found an error. No, we didn't go through our numbers and find an error. Everybody that put those fucking, those, those big long stacks of uh, proposals in knew what their numbers were from the get go. It's you that didn't know the numbers. It's you that didn't check the, check the applications. It's you that didn't follow the own rules of what you had going on. It says the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission Friday voted to delay the issuing of state licenses for medical cannabis businesses, citing possible irregularities in the scoring of applicants. 
Members of the AMCC said they wanted an independent review of all scoring data to ensure the credibility of the process and the fairness of the outcome. AMCC did not say if it had evidence of wrongdoing in the process. I'm telling you, we've got evidence of wrongdoing in the process. I'm telling you guys that one of those, three of those companies that got awarded, they weren't supposed to be awarded. Uh, none of those companies were supposed to be in the, you know, tied to each other. Each company was supposed to be its own separate license. So if Verano got a license, there, down the line, uh, another company that was tied to Verano was not supposed to be able to get a license. Same thing goes for those companies that were tied to Netherlands. Those businesses are supposed to be based in Alabama. And those businesses, all three of them, could not be getting a license if they were tied to someone else. So, yeah, uh, th this statement is really the AMCC did not say it had evidence of wrongdoing in the process. Yes, it had wrongdoing evidence of wrongdoing in the process. I'm letting you guys know that because there are a lot of applicants out there that pushed and pointed to fingers and, and got this to the point. These licenses, guys, were issued on Monday at about one o'clock. By 1.30, every, all 21 people knew they had their licenses. And by Friday, we've already got some complaints and issues uh, going on with the AMCC and what the evidence of wrongdoing they claim they don't have. I know we're all concerned about it, but it would have been just a catastrophe if the applicants went through their numbers and found an error. No, th their numbers would have been fine. Their, their numbers and the financials and everything that they had would have been great. Uh, it's you that would have figured out on the other side that you were issuing licenses to people in the Netherlands, issuing licenses to uh, people that were tied to Verano, even after the fact when they were supposed to not have any of that going on. Applicants who were awarded a license on June 12th will no longer need to meet the original deadline to pay their license and fee by June 26th. The new deadline will be determined once the stay is lifted. Okay, so apparently... We're going to get, and here's the thing, guys, like, I hope they get this right. Like, I, I didn't think it was a very fair process from the very beginning. Uh, and that was even before I went to looking into who got the licenses and who had the license. Like, when I made that video the other day talking about our license fail, uh, that was just off the information that we got off the Zoom from Montgomery. Like, and even then, we couldn't even hear what they said to find out who awarded the licenses. Once we figured out who uh, the licenses were awarded, I had already made that video and told you guys that I didn't think it was a very fair process. And then afterwards, we go to digging into it and we find out that it wasn't a fair process. There's no way that a company in the Netherlands should be issuing medical marijuana in the state of Alabama, much less three of those companies tied to the same address in the Netherlands. Also, companies like Verano, they should not be allowed to come in here and, and, and take over the medical marijuana program in the state of Alabama. We run shit here in Alabama. We do things our way in Alabama. You people coming from New York and everywhere else are not going to come in here and tell us how to run our medical marijuana license program. It's just not going to happen. You're definitely not going to come in here and steal a bunch of money from Alabama people when Alabama people are the ones that should be doing the business in Alabama as far as medical marijuana license. I'm not saying Boro Hemp has to get a license for the process to be fair, but I am saying that these companies in Alabama are the ones that should be getting these licenses, not companies from Netherlands and not companies like Verano that have these big MSO contracts and millions and millions of dollars that can come in here and just push everybody around. It said the stay will remain in effect until the until lifted by the commission. Once the stay is lifted, the commission will consider the award of licenses and provide an updated timeline for all affected processes. So basically what it boils down to is, is they wasted their time. Monday, they wasted their time, that whole process, the whole day of us sitting around trying to figure out, could we hear, get in on the Zoom, go there, try to, you know, get somebody in the room, try to figure out what's going on. That was a wasted day. Like it was all that movement up to up to Monday was just a waste because now we find out that on Friday that all those licenses have been wiped out. It says Liberty Duke, one of the board members of the Hornet Med Med Medicinals, which applied for but did not receive a license, said that she was pleased that the commission is taking steps to ensure the licensing process is fair to all applicants. Again, another company in Alabama that did not get a license. I'm glad to see the commission erring on the side of caution as they make such important monumental decisions with this new industry, industry for Alabama. And let me just say this, guys. Everybody on here is being political. Everybody on here is trying to be nice. I'm not trying to be nice. I'm, I'm giving you guys... The gut fucking truth. The truth is they fucked up. They fucked up bad. I don't know who they They had the University of South Alabama looking at this, but somehow, some way, money or something and corruption got into this. And now we've got companies in the Netherlands that are supposed to be representing Alabamians in the medical marijuana department. We've got companies like Verano that have millions of uh, dollars and in, in, in dispensaries and all other kind of states coming in here and trying to tell us how we're going to do things in the state of Alabama. The process was not fair, especially when I look at the fact that Antoine Mordecai, of all people, did not get a license. Now, you would figure in the state of Alabama, the, the way Alabama laws are, someone like me that grew up in Alabama, that the very first fucking license that would have been issued would have been to the Black Caucus. 
period. Like if no ifs, ands, or, or, or discussions, the very first application that came out in medical marijuana in the state of Alabama should have went to the Black Caucus. And I worked for Warren Hemp and we applied to guys. And I'm telling you that it should have went to the Black Caucus. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about that. And I'm and I'm going to stand on that statement all the way to the end. And so this story uh, was first published by the Alabama Inspector. Um, guys, it, that's the, basically it. I apologize for ranting the way I am. I'm extremely happy that Boral Hemp has an opportunity now to possibly get in the game. It, it may not happen. Uh, we may still not get re awarded a license, but I will say that those people out there from the Netherlands and those people like Verano and those, uh, those they shouldn't be doing business in the state of Alabama. Those people that should have got those licenses were people like Liberty Duke. They were people like Antoine Mordecai. They were people like Stacey Hamilton and, and Gordon Tinsley that should have got those licenses. People that are doing business in the state of Alabama, not someone that's from the Leatherlands and that, that doesn't know a fucking thing about anything about growing up in Alabama or anything about the people of Alabama, period. All right, folks, this is whatever guy's signing off. I hope everybody had a great week. I apologize for the rant. And I hope you guys appreciate the video. And I and I hope you guys are happy about the fact that uh, obviously we're going to try to get this right in the state of Alabama and hopefully uh, in the next couple of weeks know who has these medical marijuana licenses going forward. All right, folks, this is whatever got signing off, and I'll talk to you guys later, man. Love you. See you.